Hello, about three months ago I put this palette together and I'd made paints in it from chopping up Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2s. They made quite opaque gouache type paints. I've not used them since then so I thought I'd take a look at them today. They've dried out totally by the looks of it and gone a little bit crumbly but other than that they look pretty good. I can probably rehydrate them just by spraying them with water. After my last video somebody had said that they'd done the same thing but that the paints had gone mouldy. So I actually put a drop of geranium essential oil in each of the wells because I think it has antifungal properties. But either way none of the paints have got any mould on them and also the palette smelled beautiful when I opened it up. This is me just spraying them with a bit of water at the moment. So today I don't want to spend too long on anything, I just want to do a quick and cheerful sketch with them. I pulled up this photo that I took from a higher standpoint overlooking my local beach. It seems like you have to be a bit careful when you're mixing up the paints not to get too many air bubbles in them. The first one had quite a few in and I was more careful after that. I let the first paint layer dry and then I want to add some Neo Colour 2s on top in their crayon form. After my last video, a few people said why didn't I just create the paints by sharpening the Neo Colour 2s, which would have been far more sensible than me just chopping them up. But I figured now that whenever I sharpen my Neo Colour 2s, I can sharpen into the wells and add to the paints that are in them.
I think just about my only complaint with Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s is that they don't have a really good dark green, so I've just mixed my own up here. This picture took me just over half an hour to do in total and it's no great masterpiece but it was really nice getting out the Neo Colour 2s and the paints that I've made from them. I'd say that they operate very similarly to dried out gouache paints. It's been really nice reading all the comments that you've been leaving on my intention to spend this year concentrating on art materials that I've already got. So thanks ever so much for that and as always for watching. Bye!